So the saying, disappointment is only met when your expectations are incorrect, came about because most of the pain that entrepreneurs feel is through disappointment, through the disappointment of not being able to get their business off the ground, disappointment in not being able to secure that deal, that, that contract, you know, getting their product or service out in time, you know, a whole load of disappointments make up the entrepreneur's journey. But I think that a lot of the times those disappointments come from incorrectly set expectations. So if you, because of the success of the latest dot com, expect to, you know, have a million people use your app or have, you know, uh, revenues of X million within, you know, Y period of time because of what you read in the news or you've seen on the internet, then that sets an expectation, right? And naturally, we uh, make an assumption based on those success stories that we can replicate it. And certainly we can, but uh, there's, a, uh, there's a journey that those success stories have followed. And we don't know what those journeys are. We don't know what disappointments they've had to face. All we see um, is the end product and, um, and, and the glitz and the glamour and the fame and, and all the rest of it, right? The bright lights of that success. Um, we're, we're pretty much shielded away from all of the, the tough times and, and, and the disappointment because it doesn't make quite a, a good uh, press release um, when we do hear about it. So just pulling it back a bit, we need to think about, okay, um, what are our, what are the realistic expectations for what it is that, that, that I'm trying to do? And entrepreneurs can sometimes get carried away by their passion um, and it takes their feet off the ground and it puts them in a position where they kind of float them around and um, it sets their expectations um, somewhere in the clouds, right? And it doesn't give them a realistic perception of where they currently are and what they what they need to do to, to achieve their goals. So expe expectancy and, and having the right expectations and almost, you know, taking an accountant's point of view, right? Um, as opposed to the, the overly ambitious entrepreneurial point of view, when you are starting, can have some benefit. And it's the reason why you need to have a balanced team. You do need to have somebody whose head's in the cloud, right? You do need to have that, that dreamer, that leader, that visionary. But you also need to have the person in your business who, you know, just counts those pennies, right? It is keeping an eye on exactly what's happening and what's not happening. And if you don't necessarily have that skill set to be able to flip between those two, between those two dynamics, then get somebody in who can, or partner, or, or outsource, or, 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 or you know, get um, somebody who can non-exec who has lots of experience in that um, aspect of the business. So I think that you know, uh, in order to curb the disappointments, no matter what you do, there's going to be disappointments naturally. But in order to curb them, so that you can you know retain some some sanity and keep your business going, I think that. You know, being able to manage your expectations, and you know, people also about manage the expectations of of your customers and stuff. But what about managing your own expectations? Right? Um, I think sometimes we forget about that, and we set ourselves up for failure oftentimes. So, so you know, in, in, in the words of every great rapper from the 80s to now, I think it's very much about keeping it real and keeping it real with yourself, and you know, on, on the back of that keeping your business firmly on the ground and watching it grow um, to where the visionaries have seen it.